Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty the Legend. Um, we're just finishing up the Dorvan area today, so we can head over to the Elven area. And we had just gotten down to this area here that we hadn't cleared before, and I came to a realization. I was looking, sitting here, getting ready to start this. Look at these devices. They look like they're little dragons. I never noticed this before. Like, look, it's got a body, some wings. Look at that head. Is that not a dragon head? Like the mouth is pulling this rope. Like, I don't know if any of you guys noticed this before. A little eye, little spikes on his head. I'm like, hey. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I feel like it probably was. Uh, but either way, we have these dwarves back here when we came down here. I don't know what they wanted, so let's see. What are you hanging around here for? Can't you see we're on strike? Dwarves on strike? I always thought you'd work all day, half the night, and then dream of your smithy until morning. Judge for yourself. Have you ever heard of anything like this? The dwarves who work above grounds have a 50-hour work week. Down below here, we have a 60-hour work week, on account of our comfortable conditions. Of course, that's fair and all, because at the surface it's not so comfortable as it, uh, as it is here in the mine. But now the situation has changed, since we have to fight the demons. And I, I mean we, now claim workweek equalization with those on the service. 50 hour workweek, 50 hour workweek. Uh, what a problem you have here. Look human, maybe you'll uh, help some simple underground workers. We've written a plea to the king, or stated all our demands. Maybe you'd, you know, take it to the capital, the Torn de Gore. We're afraid of his anger, and you're a stranger, so he won't do anything to you. We'll even pay you for your courage. Sure. Oh, easy money right there. You're right, he's not going to do anything to me. But I saw a giant right here match. Well... Oh, this is over here or something. Let's just go back up, because we can go around to the king. This will through this way. Give him the message. Slash. In the king's area, we can grab some more uh, more troops also. Oh, oh, I already went that way. King, I know, is over here somewhere. I'll check the map as we... Yeah, see, he's right around. He's just pretty much take the path all the way around. be fine. This will allow us to stock back up with some troops so we don't have to worry as much about getting jumped by some stack we can't handle. Um, okay. Yeah, and over here. Good, good. Let us... Talk to him. Alright. Good day, Christian Tyler. What brings you to ancient Taron? Um... Oh, I've brought a petition from the miners. Give it to me. <laughs> well, well. 50 hour work week. 60 hour. Changed. Fight with demons. Demand. Aha. Cro crossed out. Courteously asked to shorten the work week to 50 hours. Okay, I see. I understand them and approve the new work rate as they request. But only during wartime. You may bring them my word. Well, thank you, your majesty. Uh... Thing useful here. I think these are all things we had before. Uh, small castle built by gremlins. I don't know what this is for. This castle here. I don't remember. Hmm. You know what? First things first. Though. I'm realizing. Yeah, we have a bunch of these. We don't need them. Sell. So we can only hold what is it? Thirteen scrolls to begin with. So. I still can't decide if I should learn, guys. I mean, I'm not going to right now. Let's just sell all those. Because I want to save up now. I want to save up the uh, 23 for mass. Because that's just... That's excellent. How many turns does it last? And it lasts four turns. Oh, yeah. That's that's a good one. Um, Well, either way... Stock ourselves back up on some of this. 
You know, we've got money. Let's buy this castle. Use, huh? Well, let's exit out of here real quick. Oh. Hey, human, wait a minute. I see you have bought a gremlin's castle. Yeah, I don't know what it's for, though. It's an interesting object. I decided I'd look at it more closely. By the way, what is it? A castle. An ordinary gremlin's castle. Wealthy gremlins live in such castles. You'd better... Leave it be to stay out of harm's way. Gremlins are small creatures, but they can be quite nasty. If I were you, I wouldn't disturb it. Well, you know, you must have come across these wretched wretches inside enchanted items. We have. A small, strange race living in magic items and mechanisms. Silly and naive dwarves believe that it's thanks to gremlins that their devices work and don't break. But knowledgeable dwarves have long understood that if gremlins settle in your device, its working days are numbered. Thank you. Hmm, we got a quest? Oh, that's just the minor strength, right? I'm gonna save real quick, because I want to see what this item is. Because I don't remember. Hey, hey, be careful. Don't shake the castle or you'll crack the pillars. Uh, sorry, I accidentally, uh... Now you understand. I'm just, uh, I'm only just finished building the castle. And if every giant around is gonna shake it... Uh, who are you? My name is Ramsh. I'm a gremlin. I don't know if you heard about us or not. We try not to show our faces. We gremlins are best, are the best special specialists in complex mechanisms and devices. We know much about dwarves' devices. If we disassemble something, even dwarven engineers can't assemble it again. But I, most of all, like to build and repair homes for gremlins, like this castle here. Okay, what is this place? Can't you see? It's a castle. Of course, it's not a common castle, but a gremlin's castle. The gremlins are tiny creatures. How else could we get inside all those different machines? So, of course, our castles are small, too. This castle is my pride and joy. I built it myself, by my own hands, block by block. Well, my brother, Jamsh, helped, of course. After we have completed the castle, Bamsh himself will live here. He's the famous gremlin known as a, known as a spoiler. Spoilers are the gremlins who spoil weight gears. This gremlin is none too poor either. If only you knew all the treasures in the castle. Ooh. Though, of course, there are a lot of guards as well. Oh, well, now I need to break in and steal all the treasure. You shouldn't have told me that. Why did the dwarves have your castle? I don't know. They must have got it from our customer, customer Baramush. Either he lost it in gambling, or maybe he just gave it to them. I want to look around. Of course, you're welcome to look around, but there's a little problem. Well, to tell you the truth, it's a big problem. Look at you, and look at the castle. Compare your sizes. Of course, for cases like this, we gremlins have a special shrinking spell, but I'm not going to cast it on you for free. Give a thousand coins and I'll shriek you down so you can get in. Well, we just saved. Let's give it a go. I mean, he did just admit it's full of treasure, so now... I didn't need to go in here now. Left entrance, right entrance. Who's this group? Uh, oh, this is the gremlin we were talking to. How does it feel to be as tiny as an ant? Don't worry, none of the local beasts are bigger than flies. Nothing's going to eat you. Huh, wow. Can I, uh, can I really be inside this tiny castle? I can't believe it. Absolutely. If you, uh, if you really can't believe it, just wait till somebody... For somebody to come along and find your things, and maybe they'll take the castle and shake it. Okay, we already did all that. Um, oh yeah, why did the dwarves have your castle? I don't know. They, oh yeah, we know we did that. Why is one of the one part of the castle blue and another unpainted? Oh, that's a sad story. It's all because of my brother, Jamsh. He helps me with the castle, carries tools for me, and paints everything. We had a fight about the painting. He wanted to paint the whole castle a deep sea color. Of course, he didn't even ask me about this. But everybody knows that Bar Baramush hates this color. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce those names. <laughs> but by the time I put this together, it was too late. This speedy little house painter had already painted half the castle blue. He might even finish the whole thing, but he ran out of blue paint. I'm assuming we can just leave with him. 
Okay, yeah, we can leave with him. That's what I figured. All right, well, we definitely want to look around the castle, see if we can find ourselves some treasure. Let's go this way. Okay, we're promptly attacked by a dragon. Looks like it said weak, though. <laughs> Thankfully. I was going to say. Luckily, we were able to at least stock up on some of our soldiers. Poor beholders are just getting abused. Okay, so... First things first, let's chain lightning you. Yeah. Go. Um, they've got 1400. How strong are ants? 200? Um, 731, but they all have no hit points. I see. Um, I guess let's just... Wait a second, let's see what happens if I move up. We could really flatten that stack of big that big stack. Let's do that. Because they're just a swarm, so they're not very effective in small numbers. It's just that they're super effective in big numbers. Wear are some of these dragons down? Bam. Got one, excellent. And uh, hopefully we can just finish them off, probably? Yeah. Alright, no, that's not bad at all. But the Ents have a ranged attack. I didn't expect that. Oops. Oh, yep, no, I didn't expect that. Shoot, did it say that? It just says the plant. Oh, they don't have a ranged attack. They have a wa- oh. It's kind of like his jump ability. They can do it once in a while. Okay, that's not so bad then. About to say, dang. There we go. Got those little f flying gnats. Poison do anything to these guys? Let's see. Plants, I feel like we're going to be very resistant. Yeah, that didn't do a lot there. do pole axe uh, pole axe of that stack those things are pretty tough actually how many hit points do those have I need to look at that they must have a good amount of hit points yeah 280 and there's 19 of them that's pretty good trying to wreck shop on that stack oh nice got a crit and killed them all Almost got those guys. Off of them. Alright, now we're doing good. Alright, good. After this guy goes, we can do a resurrection probably is the best plan here. Ten. Four. One. Hmm. Guess let's just... Do the ten. All right, not too bad. Okay, I can afford to lose cannoneers because I have backups of those. Okay, keep an eye out for treasure here. Okay, they're weak also. That's fine. Let's do that. Chain Lightning would be quite effective if we could get it off. I don't know if we're going to, though. These guys got some speed going on them. Shoot. Our initiative is, is high, apparently. Dang. Oh, I don't even have 35. I've got 31. Oh. Oh. 
terrible. Oh well. We almost have enough rage to black hole though. Ooh, that'd be nice. Uh, which stack do we want to blast? Let's blast this one. If they can take care of those ones, probably. Get yourself to 45, that would be nice. Put that to that guy. Um, he jumped. Did he take out these totems? Yes. Okay, very nice. Taking out those totems is nice, because then I can do that. Black hole. Nice, nice. I don't know if I could get a crit here, I'd kill these guys. Oh, ho, ho, and I got one. Nice. Alright, well that's massive. Okay, well. That turned around for us, because... Seemed like there was a lot of guys, I guess, is all it was. Now all of a sudden, there's nobody. Now all of a sudden, they're like out of soldiers. In a, in a blink of an eye. But soldiers? Nope, they're gone. Let's see, that's probably his last attack he's ever going to get. Let's look at resurrections again. Five, let's do that. There we go. Okay. Um. Passage. So I should try to clear out the area I'm in before I go through any passages, I don't think. Even though I guess there's a passage there also. I guess it doesn't matter which passage I go to. There's a passage both ways. I don't know which one I want to go in. Well, let's try this one. Oh, there's something to attack right here. Oh yeah, look, there's a undead there. there's things to dig up and you wouldn't think so but there is sometimes all right let's smash these guys shouldn't be too hard I wouldn't think I guess I should just block the edges, huh? Got a full lot of flying units, though. I think I have a couple stacks of non-flying units, though. If they can't fly, they can't get by. Let us chain lightning right off the bat here. And then we can zap. I don't know who we should blast here. Um, I guess let's just kill these guys. Their abilities are pretty annoying, if I remember correctly. Uh, his abilities are locked, huh? Can he hit this guy? Yeah, nice. Um... I guess he can move up. Only a few units he can hit with a jump. What are these? I'm guessing these are like nightmares or something. Let's see here. A black unicorn, but... Oh no, it inflicts additional magic damage to demons and undead. I don't know why it's in this army then. <laughs> I think it gets a bonus against are its own friends. Good, good. 
Do another one, but I don't know how many. Oh no, this is good. It won't hit any of our guys. Excellent. Let's just shoot whoever. Oh, actually, could we smashing sword this guy for double damage? Yes. Let's do that. on them pretty well here. Hang on. Oh, I want to get rid of that guy because it's like that. What did he just do? Something bad. Oh, nice. I got a crit. Finished him off. Good, good. Okay. Oh, well, they're out of guys now. Um... He can just jump because he's never going to reach there. Um, I think I want to cast. Do poisonous spit, I guess. Might as well. I'm going to grab this treasure, though. Ooh, got a magic rune. Wow. Paid off, too. Excellent. Nice. Magic rune. Huge. More leadership, always nice. Okay, let's see. Slightly weaker. Okay, well, everything so far has been slightly weaker. Which is nice. Excuse me, I'm grabbing this magic rune. And I'm grabbing your treasure. I can just leave, that poor guy. Not going to. I was trying to let some more mana build up. Before we fought him if we could we should easily win though doesn't look like they've got anything that can actually uh, cause us any problems here um 1500 of those things huh I don't like that. Let's let's wear some of that stack down. Fifteen hundred. I mean, that's a lot of guys. I think they're weak right now. Once they get up here, though, they're gonna do a lot of damage. Um, no, I'm... sleep's just not gonna do anything. So, could hit you. Let's just jump though. And, uh, yep, they can almost kill them. Very nice. 1500 down to 67. Very nice. There we go. Alright, um... Um, I don't really have much I can do here. You know what I can do? I'm gonna heal our guy. There. Bing. Have them go around to work on those guys. He can just block this hole up completely. Maybe I'll do another heal there. Yeah, I guess that couple piece points of mana will actually work out for us. I can just do this and ta-da! Full heal, full health.
Oh, I forgot to use that holy water in that last battle. Oops. Yeah, though. This is going good overall. That dang Cyclops back there just throwing stuff at people, but... Can I kill him, actually? Maybe. Let's see if we can just finish him off. There we go. Good. Okay. Excellent. Oh, we've got... Hey, we've got enough now to do a black hole if we wanted. It's not gonna. That's not gonna be a very efficient use of our mana, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Reza wrecked. Let's do that. Let's also wait. Wait. Here we go. Let's grab a treasure too. Might as well. Somebody can kill him. There we go. Yeah, that resurrect was nice. Oh yeah, we only lost a couple beholders. That's nothing. Because of all the units, I don't know which ones we're gonna switch or which ones we aren't. Beholders for sure we're gonna be we're gonna be getting rid of. Like we're not gonna keep beholders. Just wait a moment here and let it let my mana go up just a little bit before we walk into this. Oh uh, yeah, because yeah, you never know when there's something like this. Yeah, we probably should let our mana get up all the way. Where else could we? Go nowhere else really. Is there a map of this? No. Alright, well, we're gonna be patient because I think I want our man up all the way if we're gonna fight something that has. It says match on. Unfortunately, we're just short a little bit on soldiers too. There's nowhere to. Nowhere to dig back here anymore, was it? Quick sweep while we're waiting. It doesn't look like it. Wouldn't be too bad though. I find the dragons actually not terrible because the dragons like charge you without the rest of their team. And then get smashed normally. Oh, and here comes the dragons. Okay. Like, and so the units like the Black Knights here, which are very slow. By the time they get to the battle, the black, all the dragons, and the uh, what are they? Our banshees will all be dead. Fine, that's exactly what won't happen. Good. Alright, um... Blast the dragons, because that's a big stack of dragons there. Something we might want to cast on these guys. Uh, maybe just poleaxe somebody. Do that. Suppose these guys are undead dragons, right? In theory, I can holy water them. Do that. Just 
still six of those big dragons, though. That's a lot of dragons there. That's good. That lets my guy eat the counterattack. My doors can get a free shot. Yeah, see, they're so slow. By the time they get here, this, this fight's going to be over. Which is good for us, I suppose. We can fight them in two separate groups instead of having to fight them in... Uh, which is underground blades too? Eh. Do that. We can just poison a spit at you for a moment. Yeah, we'll just wreck shop on the dragon here. I mean, there's not much it can actually do about it, admittedly. Um. Perfect. I like how slow they are. There's a lot of them coming. But because of their speed, like if I got to back these guys up, their speed's only what two? It means they can get right here. And they can't attack anybody, so I'm gonna flatten this side. I'm probably gonna back everybody up a step. Do that. He's gonna go one, two. Yeah, might as well. Let those guys move up and then hit them with some more shots. Yeah, like I said, I can hit them with just free shots here. I mean, why not? And actually, might as well pull axe and everything. Wear them down. Real good. Just of rage, sure, sure. Okay, there we go. Good. That unit that stack didn't even get to attack. That was real nice, 935 XP also, real good. Um, throw these in there. Often, I don't particularly want that, but I got it. I got that to go that way. This goes somewhere. And we've got plenty of mana, so let's just go see what this guy has to do. Ugh, 174 of these vampires? I guess that's what all these are, right? They're just vet bats. Yeah, I guess there's just a lot of those. Oh, and there's two. I don't know what these are. Well, there's regular beholders. They just look weird. <laughs> we might be able to just nuke them, the beholders, yeah. Um, yeah, I might as well just shoot this stack. Something about the lighting, yeah, the beholders look different to my eyes with the lighting. So, it's gonna be the same problem where these, these guys are just too slow by the time they get to combat. Vampires are going to be smashed. got some rage built up. Something useful I'd like to do with it. 
Why 170 to 260 to everybody? I don't really like that. It's just not enough, I feel like. I'd rather just safe up for black hole. Or beholders. <laughs> Always getting hit. You know, I like how they just like melt into their cloak pretty much. It's like Oh. Melted into a cloak. That's odd. Speaking of slow, that's one thing I don't like about Dwarven Troops, they're very slow. Normally it's a strategy of let the battle come to us. Which seems like it's working because our enemies are, are doing it even though it's not tactically very sound for them to do. Boulders are gonna get. Oh, I say, boulders are gonna get finished off here eventually. Um, do we want resurrection on anybody? Four, three, sixteen. Hmm. Seems effective. Get a lot of those beholders back. All right. Um, seems that you're. Oh, yeah. I think we were talking about this before, that it's a little, just a little awkward, really. Statue, sure. Proud scroll, sure. Anything else hidden about here? No? no. Oh, wait, no, there is. Nothing but dust, okay. There's another passage. Alright guys, well, I think we're going to stop right here. I don't actually know how big this gremlin area is because I can't remember. So we're going to stop right here. And next time we'll continue to search through the gremlin's castle. Um, just like our last video, if you guys have any suggestions on if we should take human troops or dwarven troops when we go to the elven lands, uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas or tips or suggestions. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.